This might just be the strongest Godzilla you've never heard of. Yes, there are more powerful versions of the character. Hey, say, Marvel, Ultima in his true powers, G.I.H., of course. But the Godzilla from the Pachinko games has one of the best examples of a casual shut the fuck up feed to show people whenever they talk about how Godzilla can't be power scaled or he's overrated fodder and can't even blow up whole countries or whatever. But how powerful is this king really? Let's get into it. So first, let's address the fact that this version of the character, while small, is incredibly powerful. While normally you see him doing, you know, typical Godzilla stuff like blowing up buildings, destroying tanks, etc. This Godzilla is pretty infamous for a very impressive feat he did, while nowhere near his full power. This being actually obliterating Gorath, the celestial body from Toe's earlier film. Something that Final Wars was claimed to have done, but as we know by now, that was literally a lie within the movie. Pachinko Godzilla, however, actually did it. In the famous clip, he charges to about two-thirds of his true power, and within a few seconds completely stops, reverses, penetrates, pause, and obliterates the small star. The explosion generated from it is so powerful that even though Gorath is smaller than Earth, the power needed would be well into solar system level, and in fact, close to multi-solar system level. This already puts Pachinko Godzilla on the higher end for a Toho Godzilla, with him being shy of monsters like Showa and Heisei, and on par with IDW. Yep, just that single blast alone is more powerful than Godzilla Earth, high ends for Monsterous Godzilla, Final Wars, or really anyone else. Of course, since he is only at 60% power doing that feat, at 100% power, it'd be even stronger. But how do we know that this calculation is consistent? Well, we know that in the Pachinko timeline, Space Godzilla still comes from a black hole, and Godzilla could defeat him in his base form. We also know that Gorath was sent by the alien invaders, only for Kaiser Ghidorah to be stated even more powerful than that. Meaning Kaiser Ghidorah is at least stronger than a faster than light star. Which of course does make sense. So an at least solar system base form even at 67% power. At full power Godzilla is able to compete with Kaiser Ghidorah at least briefly as well as other powerful monsters like Biollante, King Ghidorah, etc. King Ghidorah who can engage in beam clashes with him multiple times. Furthermore, his base form is not the only level to include. His power increases with rage, but more than that, he actually has something more, that being his ultimate mode, a raged out state similar to Super Saiyan, including in power increase. Yep, that's right. This form actually grants Godzilla 58 times his normal base form strength, bumping his attack power into multi-solar system level. 
obviously applies to his durability as well. And you may say that that's inconsistent, but considering he completely vaporized Kaiser Ghidorah and Biollante, and this transformation is only needed against monsters like Destroya, I think it's pretty consistent. What about his speed, though? The blast used against Gorath calculates into the relativistic speeds, about 12% that of light. Again, as mentioned, he can engage in beam clashes with creatures like King Ghidorah, showing that he can fight creatures that have similar beam speeds to himself, putting his reaction and combat speed on that scale. Another calculation, which I did, gets Pachinko's beam to 35% the speed of light. His ultimate form powers him up by 59.2 times. But it doesn't just say for power only. It just says overall for all of his stats, so that'd be speed, durability, and striking force as well. Then he would be multiple times the speed of light. As for abilities, he actually has a fairly limited amount. He's a good melee fighter, he can regenerate, he can summon Mothra and Kiryu, he resisted mind control, absorbs radiation, of course, resisted the gravity beams multiple times, destroys micro-oxygen, absolute zero, Biollante's acid, Hedorah's acid, Space Godzilla's attacks, etc. But for the most part, he is kind of just big strong. Still, this is a Godzilla I wanted to cover for a while, as he's not only incredibly powerful, but really damn cool. And we had a teaser a few years ago of a purple mode, which might be even stronger. Which would make sense, since the teaser shows that he's fighting all of his past enemies. This purple mode might be needed to turn the tides in his favor. I only hope that they keep up with this Pachinko Godzilla because he's one of the more powerful versions that's currently still around, keeping the spirit of Showa and Heisei alive. Anyway, that's all for this one. See you guys next time. You also might have noticed that when I was doing more of the clip fights, that I did a lot with 2000, and then I switched the blue beam as a power up. This was kind of meant to make him Pachinko Godzilla, and I'm probably going to keep doing that even with me sticking mostly with the scaling content and branching into what if territory. So enjoy the previous compilation as well as a new fight that I'm working on right now.